Hello everyone. Welcome to yet another Tuesday Tech Tip here at 45 Drives. Brad here and uh, we're continuing our theme of, well, I'm going to keep using Mitch Hall's line, um, a little NVMe goes a long way. Uh, and what we're going to talk about specifically today, we're going to talk about accelerating a ZFS storage pool with NVMe devices. And in particular, what I'm going to talk to you guys about is this, um, well, kind of the infamous way that everyone kind of hand waves, oh, it helps with the metadata performance and everything like that. But we're going to talk ZFS, we're going to talk special VDEVs, we're going to talk metadata performance and what that actually looks like. Because if you're like me, I like, if, if you people are anything like me, sometimes you just throw metadata out there and people go, oh, yeah, yeah, metadata, metadata. But no, we're actually going to look what the hell that means. When we say put your metadata on the NVMEs, we're going to see what that means. So uh, why don't you come along this journey with me to uh, the terminals here and uh, we'll investigate some performance. All right, guys, so uh, let's start with a nice familiar screen of Houston here. I uh, just want to show you the two pools I'm working with. So what I've got here is I've got an AV15 and i got a couple drives in one pool and a couple drives in the other pool. As you can tell by their names, one's got NVMe accelerating it, one is hard drives only. So a uh, quick look at the status here. We can see four disks in a RAID Z2 and one NVMe drive as uh, the special VDEF. Now, I would not use in this production. I'd use a lot more drives and I'd also mirror my special device. But for illustrative purposes, this will do. Let's pop over to the other pool. Uh, same drives, but no special VDEV. Okay, that's what we're working with. Let's pop over into the command line. Full screen this so we can see everything. So here we're looking at it. So let me, uh, let me take you a quick look through these screens here. So on the upper left side and the lower left side are just two terminals. This is where I'm going to run some listing tests from. Um, and then on the side, on the right side, the top and the bottom, the top is the uh, Zpool IO stats, the IO performance of the drives, and um, the top pool is the hard drive NVMe, as you can see by the name, and the bottom is hard drive only. Uh, I'm just going to use this kind of as some filler, I don't know, just something to give you a little illustration as I swing my mouse around and talk at the screen, you know. So what are we going to do today? Remember in the intro I said we're going to look at what the heck metadata performance really is and when someone goes oh it'll increase your metadata workload um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I've got a bunch of projects made uh, let me just list out one of these um, I don't want to do it on both right now so a bunch of project files and on these project files you can imagine there's a bunch and the the idea to think is like oh this is a uh, video editing project or something it's full of your assets it's full of your library files your everything you'd ever need, right? And I have an incrementing amount of files in each. 1K, 10K, 50K, 100K, 500K, all the way up to a million. Um, now, traditionally with file systems, you don't want to go anywhere really over 100K in a single directory. A, it's just cumbersome for a human to organize things that large. And well, uh, file systems kind of have a hard time dealing with that. Um, and so what I'm going to do in this test is I'm going to like list files kind of like this and I'm going to run a time command. It's going to tell me how long it takes. Now, someone sitting at home right now might think, hey, that's not how I use my storage server, man. Like, I thought you said you're going to tell me what it feels like, what, it, what this performance looks like. But you are actually. You are running LS. You're just not doing it in a command line. If you go to uh, your storage pool, which is shared through a Samba share, you go to your Explorer window, you search through it, you click through it, you browse it, you're just essentially running LS behind the scenes. Samba's doing it for you and bringing it back. When you do these kind of operations, what you're doing is not actually retrieving the data of the files. You're retrieving the stuff about the files. You're retrieving its name, its size, the last time it got touched, who, uh, who touched it. Um, my point is it's a bunch of information about the data. What does that sound like? Metadata. That's what metadata is. Metadata is one of the most overused terms in this industry because it literally means data about data. So when I talk about metadata in terms of file system, that's what I mean. Those stuff you do when you search the file explorer or, or Mac Finder and all this stuff is stored on the hard drives of your storage pool. 
When I list that back, before I can even begin to grab a file, I need to know where it is, I need to know what it's named, blah, blah, blah. So when we say it will help your metadata performance, when you do something like this, attach an NVMe and, and put all the metadata on it, what it means is I can list things out way faster. I can search through things. When I say through Explorer or something, I can say, hey, I want this file. That metadata search is way faster when you use NVMe to accelerate just on spinning hard drives. So with all those words out of the way, let's actually do it. Um, what we're gonna find here too, actually, you know what, I won't spoil it, let's just start. So again, we can look at this side, but the point is there's gonna be a number spit out when we run the LS, this real number. This is how long it takes to list the files. That's the kind of, is it better? The lower number is better. So let's just get started, eh? Time LS, HDD only, projects, project, uh, 1K. We'll list out 1K first. Uh, do the same down here. NVMe. Okay, so, uh, you know what? I got these two backwards. Let's, uh, I'm making a mess of this right now. Sorry, guys. Time. We want to correspond, right? This screen over here on the top right is the IO stats of the NVMe accelerated pool. Bottom right is just the hard drive only pool. So they correspond screen to screen. So let's run these things at the exact same time. What happens? Near instant. Near instant. If we look at the real time though, 0.02 seconds for the NVMe accelerated and um, 0.119 seconds for the hard drives. Uh, cool, we're already seeing a huge massive increase. So you might go, okay, that's all well and good though. Like the hard drives are still fast enough. Keep in mind, I've got a idealistic experiment here. I have zero byte files on a Z pool to show you the metadata performance. In real life, what's happening is there are all kinds of streams and operations of, of things on these pools using the disk, filling your cache, doing all this stuff. And what we're seeing here is we're actually seeing ZFS's adaptive re, uh, uh, replacement cache, the ARC, fill most of these requests. But we are still seeing a really nice time increase on top of the VDEV. The thing that everyone needs to keep in mind here is although the difference between 0.02 seconds and 0.12 seconds feels almost nothing to us, as your pool gets big, as you get a ma massive amount of users on this thing, that little difference will feel like forever. And if you're a video editor or just anyone who relies on finding files through the Explorer window or Finder or whatever tool you use, anytime that bar circles, you're just like, screw it, I'm doing something else. Or it breaks your mindset and it just ruins the workflow. So being able to search through those things are really, really big. Anyway, let's continue. Uh, so we did the 1K. So what we're going to do is we're just going to increment through the things and see how different it is each time. Once we get into the big ones, like the 100Ks, the 500Ks, it'll hang for a little bit and we can check out some numbers on the right side here. So what's next? Let's do 10K next. So let's see how long it takes to do that. Boom. All right. So again, way faster out of the, um, way faster out of the VDEV or the NVMe accelerated pool um, than the hard drive pool. So again, as, this, as these directories get fuller and fuller, eventually we'll see the hard drives not be able to keep up. So what's next? Let's do 50K. Again, pretty fast, but the NVMe accelerate is still winning. Uh, let's go 100K. Oh, we got a little bit of lag for the first time. Boom. Now we're starting to feel it. Now you're starting to feel that difference, right? That 1.9 seconds compared to the 2.6 seconds. You pressed a button, you now are human, are, are slow, what am I trying to say? The slowness that is the human brain relative to computers, of course, is starting to notice the difference. Uh, let's go up another 500. So we're at 500K, half a million files in one directory. We have now left the realm of Realistic. No one's putting this many files in one directory. I really hope not. Um, it's just, you know, way you're organizing things that way. You're, you're really taking the limits of your file system. And really what I want to show you here is um, hard drives eventually not be able to keep up. 
but the MVMEs will be able to. So now we're really going to start to see a difference. If we take a look at the IO stats on the other side, you can see that all the metadata is reading from the disks, and the VDEV just finished. Sorry, the VDEV, I keep saying that wrong. The NVMe accelerated one just finished, boom, the hard drives go just after. But if you noticed, the disks were working very hard on this one, and the disks did nothing over here because all the metadata is coming off the NVMe. So let's go right to a million. See, and this is pretty fun here. All the data is coming off this, and as soon as this number drops to zero, we're going to see this return, and then this is just going to hang forever after. Because what's happening here, this is where we really see the, the hard drives can't even keep up anymore. Now, we are talking about one million files in a single directory there. Boom, 25 seconds to list out a million files in an NVMe accelerated storage pool. We have the capacity of spinners. We can go huge and just a little bit of NVMe lists us out a million files in one directory in 25 seconds. That's crazy. As I say all that, the hard drives still aren't done yet. And honestly, we can sit till it's done here, but I feel like my point is proven. What I want to end with is even at the beginning there, it didn't feel that different listing 1K files, that kind of hundredth of a second. Now that was wrong. It was not a hundredth of a second. It was, it was a tenth of a second more. Um, it almost feels like nothing in this experiment, but when your storage pool is full, full of data, people are using it. It's doing other things than literally just saying, hey, I'm listing your files for you. That 0.1 of a second is going to feel like an eternity because it just spirals out of control. So it's always hard to show performance. It's really hard to show metadata performance, but I feel like this does a good illustration of how a little bit of NVMe can really, really help your metadata workloads.